What is going on, people? We're getting an early start this morning. You guessed it, going out for herping. I am on my way to meet up with Brandon, and we're gonna be heading kinda southeast today, uh, more towards the coast of Texas. And we're gonna get out there and try to find some dope snakes, so I'm excited. Whose decision was it to make the sun that bright? Always, always, every herp trip ever. Check that. Been out doing some a uh, little bit of cruising, some lifting, didn't see too much. Uh, one giant ribbon, but that's about it. Uh, so we headed a little bit further east and we're just hitting another area now. Hoping to see maybe some hog noses, a couple other things, but who knows. Uh, it's definitely heated up a bit now. It's getting close to, it's like 75, 77 degrees, but hopefully stuff's still, you know, hanging out, sitting in the sun. So. Uh, we're about to get out now and start looking. I'll let you guys know if we see anything. Neat little herp Brandon just found. It's like a young five line skink. Pretty cool little blue tails. Here's the stuff under here. Nothing too rare, but just walked up on this nice little western ribbon. Thamnophis proximus proximus. As you get further east, they have more of this uh, kind of a light creamy white tan color versus the ones um, more central Texas that have the bright orange or red stripe. Not quite as visually appealing, but still really cool. Neat little find here in the forest. I'm gonna let him go and then we're gonna keep looking. Find our target. Some eastern hognose. Cool little snakes though, super quick. He's already gone. Man, this stuff here is used to people. Yeah, it's cool. Well guys, we've been here what, ten minutes? And we already got uh we got our target for this area. Beautiful. Eastern hognose snake right here. Damn. And it's a nice one too. Nice oranges and yellows. Looks like a good sized male. Um, we spotted him just heading inside of a tree stump. Probably looking for some toads and whatnot, but what a cool find. Eastern hognose snake. Doesn't get much cooler than that. This is only my second one ever. I saw one other one in Central, uh, Central Texas. and. Now we're here a little bit more east. Number two, and that's a, that's a great looking snake. You can see him in the sun right here. He isn't, uh, a lot of them will play dead on you, uh, these Eastern hog noses, but this one is being very cool. He gave me a little bit of a hood when we first found him, but he has calmed down very nicely. Awesome, awesome find. Check him out. Look at that beautiful face marking. It's a great looking animal. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen too much today at all. A few ribbon snakes here and there, but this has definitely made the trip worth it. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to grab some more pictures of this guy real quick, and then uh, we will let him on his way. Sweet.
starting to hood up on us again. All right, guys, took a couple good pictures of this uh, gorgeous male Eastern Hognose. Then we're gonna let him on his way. This was right where he was hanging out, right by this tree stump. Uh, he's just had his tail hanging out, probably going in there looking for some toads and whatnot. So we're gonna let him get back to that and find some food. And we're gonna let him on his way. Okay, I'll put it this way. They're not common enough to, like they're still fun to find. Yeah. They're not like. Mm. I haven't seen much else since that Eastern hog, but this is pretty, pretty sweet. All right, he's starting to peek his head out now. You can just barely see it. He's got a bright red head. Male, right? <laughs> Howdy. What's going on guys? It is the next day here. Um, I had a great trip. Uh, me and Brandon head into East Texas like that. We had a great time. Um, it was a good two, two and a half hour drive. Um, so I was a bit, you know, beat yesterday and I got back and just kind of passed out, just super exhausted, but I had an awesome trip. We found some great animals, uh, not a ton of volume. I mean, really, you know, we got the hognose, which obviously made the trip worth it. I mean, an Eastern hognose snake is always an awesome find, even if you're on the East Coast or in Texas, doesn't matter. That's gonna be an awesome find no matter what. So I was really happy to see that. That made the trip well worth it to me. Uh, and I know Brandon was excited too. So we will be back again with a new trip soon. Uh, maybe not quite as far, but we'll do a bit something a bit closer, target some cool stuff, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you're not following along, make sure to subscribe. I mean, I'm posting um, weekly for sure actual episodes uh, going out and herping, whether it be just me or uh, herping with my friends or my girlfriend. So I'll see you guys on the next adventure.